Record Store Day 2019 is upon us. I am getting all my stuff ready because I'm about to go to Amoeba, as I usually do, and line up with all the other crazies in the hopes that I'll get all the records on my list and hopefully also meet some pretty cool people along the way. So, hope you stick around for this video. It's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna document my journey and then show off my haul at the end. It's gonna be pretty great. Happy Record Store Day, guys. We in here. What's up? <laughs> How's it going, man? So, looks like first impression is further than every other year thus far. I'm not too far. I'm gonna estimate before counting, we're at maybe 75 people. And here's where I will be. All night. All right, I am here with Glenn. How's it going, man? Good, good. Just Your first record line. store day. This is my first record store day, yes. How'd you know to line up so early? Uh, because I saw one of your videos last year. <laughs> and now, you're here. We're here together. <laughs> it's so crazy. What are you yes. here for? What's your number one thing on your list? Uh, I'm looking for Santicle, the gold session. And okay. And Robin. Yeah, body, body top. top. Yeah, and me too. If you get the last one, I'll be so mad. <laughs> here he is, the bell of the ball. Is that a Tesla? It is a Tesla. Are you surprised we're this far back, Mike? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is Mr. Mike. He is going to be joining us Gentlemen. on this Record Story Day adventure. How are you, Mike? I'm very excited about this. I've never done this, and I cannot actually believe that I'm here. And <laughs> it's only like 10 more hours. I haven't slept out for anything since Eric Clapton tickets in high school. So Did you get them? on the floor fourth row first dogs of record store day and they are absolutely adorable <laughs> what are these dogs names uh, Maisie's the little one and Jack is the big one oh my gosh I'm already so happy how's it going not too, not too bad you did better than me yeah, I know about two and a half hours ago. okay are you comfortable Bit. Settled in. Yeah. What's your number one? Uh, I don't know, man. There's a lot to choose from. Really. There, there certainly is. <laughs> I have no idea. What's up, man? You got the grub? You good to go? What's your name? I'm Al. This is my brother, Steven. What's going on, guys? First year. First year. You guys are. What time you get here? About seven thirty. Seven thirty. Okay. What's the? What are like the top three things on your list? Um, let's see why I'm going. Robert Plant, Fade of Nations. Okay. Okay. So, same band. Wow. This guy. Every year you get closer. Every year. And you too, my friend. I, last year I got to chat with you the whole time, and now you're all the way up here beating me. You showed up late. <laughs> I showed up late. I showed up earlier than last year. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I you showed up earlier last year. No, I got here 11:30 last year, and I'm probably like 75 deep now. Yeah. What time do you guys get here? Three or five. You got here at five? No, three. Three. Okay, what, okay, I, I need to know, what are your number ones on your list? Crow soundtrack. The, the Crow soundtrack, yes. yep. Okay. And the No Alternative soundtrack. They get a bunch. They get a bunch. Always, I mean, you wouldn't show up if you didn't. So, it looks like we are about 50 and 51, give or take. So, better than I thought after doing a full count. Yeah, I mean, I was a little nervous when the car went around the corner and I saw this, you know, already assembled mass of desperate music loving humans. That you were just dying to join. I am here. We're here. I, I filled this out ahead of time, because I'm crazy. But, you know, each album, as you see, with a red X, then highlighted so there's no confusion. So, I'm here with Tom and Lynn. Hey. They're not actually here for Hello. Record Store Day. They just happened to come visit me. That's amazing. And this dog. And We're here for the dog, too. I mean, who yeah, is it? about this, Jack. 
I love this, this dog. This is record store dog. I'm going to take this dog home for record store day. Is this dog part of record no. store day? No? He's not for He's sale. He's bundled Jack with uh, sale. the Todd Rundgren <laughs> set. Uh, we'll see about that. It's record store day. Anything's for sale if you, if you work hard enough. Jack, no, not for sale. Okay, fine. I won't not take the dog. Jack. I won't take the dog. That's fine. <laughs> What's on your guys' record store day list? What are you going to get? A Magic Dragons and Muffin and Sons. Nickelback. Those are your favorites. Done. Don't let Matt fool you. They are his favorites. Sometimes you're going to get a bathroom break and you find yourself having a quick 3 30, 4 o'clock a.m. meal. Bon appetit, record store day, boys. I just asked Mike what time it was. He said it was 6.35, but he's wrong. It's 7 o'clock. We are getting closer to doors opening. We still have our lists. List is uh, finalized. I have everything I want on here. Um, let's hope they don't run out. I'm excited to walk the line. I haven't seen it since uh, maybe like 3 in the morning. Are you guys excited for them to take the lists? Very excited. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna do a little walk and see how long this line is. There's a lot of people. Good luck. I can't wait. <laughs> Too many records. What are you doing here? Yeah. What's happening, dude? What, what time did you get here? Uh, about one something. What time were we here? About? Yeah, just after one. one. Yeah, okay. I, I, yeah, I geared up man? watching Good your. To see it. Geared up watching your YouTube channels. Make sure I was, you know. Got all the tips. Navigating my way around the list. Okay. Yeah. What's number one on your list? Number one on my list is Industrial Accident Wax Tracks Story because it comes with the ministry concert tickets. So. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know about so that. Uh, yeah, so that one, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. How about you? Oh, what, what's on your list? Actually, it started out something that I'm not even going to get. Why? Um, just because it's the Woodstock. I, I thought it was a totally different collection. Oh, got it. Uh, the Sly. Yeah, yeah. But Lee Scratch is probably number one. All right. Well, we're not What's too far back. One? What's your number one? Pearl Jam, man. Pearl Jam, that's right. Of I'm, course it is. I mean, it's only a couple tracks, but they're good tracks. No, I'm pretty sure I saw you bugged out that it's only seven tracks. Well, I mean, they're the ambassadors. Do the full show, right? Duh. Duh. I'm gonna make it a double LP, right? You should be in Pearl Jam. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep walking the line, but All guys, right, happy record store day. Good time. Good time. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what time you get here? Uh, uh seven thirty. A little late. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> What's number one on your list? Uh, the Spider Verse album. That's awesome. I'm standing in line with a guy who worked on the movie. Son of a biscuit. It's on his list too. <laughs> Suffice to say. I hope you get everything you want. I hope so. Too. Happy record store day. Thank you. You made it. I did. I'm the last one in line. But also the best one in line. Yeah. Technically I'm first if we start this way. What's number one on your list? Probably Twin Peaks season two soundtrack. Okay. I have all the other ones and that's the one I don't have. Okay. That's pretty cool. Happy record store day. I hope you get everything you need. I hope so too. Thank you. Good luck. That line is absolutely crazy. We just walked down the line. It's not even 8 a.m. and it is wrapped around the entire store. Amoeba is a magical place. I'm really happy to be as close as I am in line and now we do the waiting game and see possibly if uh, I get everything on my list. We'll find out. All right, I'm here with uh, Record Man, I guess? Vinyl Hero? Vinyl Hero. H-E-A-R-O, right? A little play on words, you I get love it? this. Can you explain everything that's happening because I'm, I'm stoked about this. <laughs> We just thought it's record store day. What a better time to celebrate independent record stores, community, yep. people yep. coming out, sharing the love of music. 
And you're protecting us. Absolutely, absolutely. We're protecting you from bad music. And from flippers. Yeah, exactly. That's right. This is awesome. You're my hero. I'm right dressing on. up as you for Halloween. Happy Record Store Day, everybody. Happy Record Store Day. Thank you, Final Hero. Very exciting. All right, guys, back from Record Store Day. It was an incredible night. I had so much fun. I met so many cool people, hung out with some great people that came with me. Shout out to Mike. And yeah, I actually got everything on my list. I was super worried. I wasn't sure what was gonna go on. I was looking at the board and very early on, some big titles got crossed off. I was 50th in line, give or take, so I wasn't sure what I was gonna get. I ended up getting everything. So obviously now this wouldn't be a Record Store Day video for me if I didn't show you my haul. I don't want this to be a thousand minutes though, so let's just dive right into it. Let's start off with what we in the biz call baby records. This is a seven inch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Power with Tubin on the back. This is a I Am 8-Bit release and is from the arcade game, which I grew up with, an amazing game, amazing soundtrack. Comes with these awesome patches on the front too. Really nice like denim packaging. I love this, this is a great little release and I'm super glad it didn't sell out. Next up, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Phoebe Bridgers and this is Lord Huron, the night we met featuring Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, you know, Lord Huron's fine. I, I, think, I think his music is pretty good, but anything with Phoebe, I'm gonna buy including this. I don't know why I was on the fence about this to begin with, but Julian Baker, two new songs. We have Red Door and Conversation Piece. Julian Baker is just one of the best singer-songwriters that's out right now. Really excited to get new material. Can't wait for another album, but this will definitely tide me over until then. And then I got a 10-inch. This is 07. It is Home and Somersault. Somersault, first of all, awesome song. Danger Mouse remix featuring MF Doom. Come on. Zero uh, Seven is one of the best down-tempo electronic acts around, so I had to grab this 10-inch. Let's dive into the record, shall we? I, of course, got the Pearl Jam Live at Easy Street record, and I was pleasantly surprised to find out it's a soft-touch jacket. I love soft-touch jackets. I have a few, and most of them are actually done by Pearl Jam. I have the Pearl Jam Live at Third Man and the Let's Play 2 jackets that are both soft-touch. It just adds this level of luxurious feel to the record and really boosts the package, in my opinion. Really excellent packaging, really. It's, it has a giant spine right here. As you guys know, big fan of that. Beautiful gate fold showing some of the show. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it's only on black vinyl and it's only part of the show, but the selection they picked from the show is pretty excellent. So really excited to hear this. Hope it sounds as good as it looks. Next up, we have Gorillaz The Fall. This is one of the most underrated Gorillaz records in my opinion. Damon Albarn created this on an iPad, I think predominantly or entirely, while on his tour bus on one of his tours. Uh, it's been out of print for a very long time. The original's numbered. This one is not, sadly, but in lieu of a number, it does come on this really cool green, kind of translucent, swampy vinyl. So, really excited to re-listen to this. It's been a minute, but I remember loving it. And uh, yeah, it's just, if you like Gorillaz, this is some of their best stuff. If you guys like Afrobeat, this is some of the most laid-back, vibey Afrobeat that exists. Fella Cootie and Roy Ayers putting together just a uh, unbelievable combo. As with most Fella albums, it's only two songs, but they're both extremely long songs, the A side and B side, and they just cultivate this groove all the way through. It's on this really cool rainbow kind of like starburst record. This is definitely one of the coolest records I've seen in a while visually. This is one I was really hoping to get. Soccer Mommy for Young Hearts. This is just, uh, Soccer Mommy is one of my favorite lo-fi bedroom pop artists and she's really made some waves with her recent album, Clean. But this was her first record and I had it on cassette a while ago, um, but now I finally have it on vinyl and man, do they do it justice. This is a really nice jacket. Nice, thick, beautiful pictures on the inside. And to match this kind of greenish aesthetic, also printed inner sleeve, nice touch. It comes on this really nice green with black wispy smokes. It's Heisenberg. This is the soundtrack to Breaking Bad. I think this was only previously available on a 10 inch box set, I believe, which is a little inconvenient. So I'm really glad that they pressed it over a few discs. Uh, I'm a little sad they didn't do meth blue. I think it's just a clear record, you know, which is, you know, nice, I suppose, but they really missed that blue meth correlation that I think would have been really nice for a release like this, but awesome slip case, big bulky jacket, excited to hear this. The soundtrack for this show is really a large part as to why some of those scenes are so memorable and they popped while you watched them in ways that made Vince Gilligan just a legend. Of course, I got the Lost in Translation soundtrack. Uh, this is one of the best soundtracks that needed a reissue for quite a long time, finally received it, uh, featuring all kinds of amazing musicians like Kevin Shields from My Bloody Valentine, Square Pusher, Phoenix, Air, Jesus and Mary Chain. The whole thing is just great. It's been out of print for a while. And I mean, yeah, the cover, pretty nice um, if you're a fan of Scarlett Johansson. 
I was worried this one was gonna sell out because it was knocked off the list that they put out really early on. And I was 50th in the line, so I was like, oh, I probably missed it. But thankfully, I did not. This is Pink Floyd's second album. Uh, one of the last things they did with Sid Barrett, A Saucer Full of Secrets, and this is a mono pressing. Um, really excited to hear this. I actually don't own any version of this. I got the Piper mono version uh, last year and it sounds really, really good. So I'm hoping that this sounds just as good. The packaging isn't as robust and elaborate as last year's packaging for Piper, which had like a, a slip case on the outside and all this stuff. This is kind of bare bones, but if it sounds good, I'm super stoked because Sid Barrett is wild. This is a massive jacket too, this huge gatefold. I was lucky enough to get Robin's Body Talk. The original record is extremely out of print, goes for hundreds and hundreds of dollars because it's one of the best synth pop albums possibly ever. Uh, and this is a reworking, I believe. It's not the original track listing. I don't know if it's all the tracks uh, or it has additional tracks and some were removed. I'm not quite sure, but it has all of my favorite tracks on it, which is what's most important. And yeah, uh, it's on white vinyl. I hope it sounds great. Uh, if you don't know Robin, she is absolutely terrific. This was another one that got knocked off the list early and I got lucky in two ways. One, because I got it. And two, because I got the super limited version of it. So basically, American Standard by 7 Mary 3 is a really good alt grunge record. There are, I believe, a thousand copies total. Total, only 200 of them were on yellow wax and your boy got it so they must love me over at amoeba someone had my back they uh, hooked it up with the yellow version I can't wait to spin this this is super nostalgic for me just a good record this was one I didn't talk about in my last record story day video because it wasn't on the list until later this is a recent music discovery that I've absolutely fallen in love with this is Jose James he has the voice of an angel he does soulful jazzy sometimes hip-hop inspired music and it's just so laid back and beautiful to listen to. His voice is quite literally gonna be butter coming out of your sound system. And these laid back kind of soulful beats are so nice. And this is one of his early records, The Dreamer, that's super out of print. So I'm really happy they reissued it. And of course it's like a nice gatefold and they did a great job with it. So I'm gonna be spinning this real soon. I've been picking up a lot of his more recent records which are actually surprisingly easy to find. I would highly recommend his Bill Withers cover album so good but this one's really hard to find and now it's finally back in print so grab it before it goes out of print again picked up the green day live at woodstock 1994 because this is green day in their prime this is right when dookie came out this list of songs is incredible it has welcome to paradise long view basket case when i come around and my favorite song by green day fod amongst some other kind of deeper cuts so really fun show all the songs are kind of played a little faster has a lot of frantic energy and there was the whole mud fight situation that happened definitely an iconic show in their history really glad it has a vinyl pressing the last two are some hip-hop records i got death grips steroids this 22 minute mix is just crazy experimental noisy but death grips at their finest and i'm getting more into death grips these days i know a lot of people in line were talking about this and i'm really excited to own it as well and last but not least my boy currency spitta and freddie gibbs collabed on fetty which is produced by the alchemist so the trifecta of these people is really hip hop royalty put together and this project is bar none one of the best things Currency and Freddie Gibbs have ever done in my opinion. So I'm really glad this got a vinyl issue. It's pressed on yellow vinyl. I think there's gonna be another version down the road maybe through Alchemist Bandcamp but you can bet that's gonna be more like $50 as opposed to this which was I believe under 20. So like I said, amazing record store day. I got everything on my list that I wanted. I put back one or two. I think I put back My Chemical Romance because someone in line was saying that the show was actually not that good and Gerard couldn't hit the note Notes, whatever it may be I put it down I couldn't get every single thing that I put on my list just because that would be crazy but I got the things that I think matter most to me especially with my new version of my collection where I'm only going for records that are important to me or ones that I love front to back or special things that I don't think I'll be able to find again so yeah record store day for me was terrific thank you amoeba thank you to everyone that waited in line with me and chatted with me and said hi uh, who uh, maybe recognized me in line and, and wanted to say hi that was awesome I, I love meeting you guys at record store day it's super cool so in the comments, obviously, leave me a list of what you got or what you didn't get. I want to be able to be like, yeah, awesome, or commiserate in the sadness of missing out on certain records if you don't get there early enough. You don't always have to go as early as me, you know, 11, 15 at night, the night before. First guy in line was there at 10 in the morning. People are taking Record Store Day real seriously this year. I'm also curious as to what you think about Record Store Day being oversaturated. Do you think that there are way too many people doing it now? Do you think that the records are too overpriced? Leave your thoughts on Record Store Day in the comments as well as your hauls if possible. I'd love to get some conversations going. If you guys like this video, obviously more videos soon. I'm about to go sleep for like 20 hours. Take it easy guys.